Okay. Welcome to February 23rd, 2021. It is Tuesday and time for our weekly communication. Thank you for joining us. I would like to introduce the people with me today. We have Darlene Appeland, who is our Director of Finance and Operations, and Sonia Bittner, our Registered Nurse, and they will both have updates for you. I would like to talk today a little bit about the CEE survey that you have received through Skyward. Um, our students will be taking it in class if they are in class right now, our sixth graders, um, seventh and eighth graders. And we would like to ask you to have your students and yourselves fill out that information. And I realize we've asked you to survey on a variety of topics this year. However, this helps inform us for next school year. So please take a moment and fill out the survey. Thank you. Starting on Monday, March the 1st, which is just right around the corner, less than a week away, we are going to welcome back our high school students. Our AA students come back on Monday and Tuesday, and our BB students come back on Thursday and Friday. Can hardly wait, it's been a year. Just thrilled that our high school students are returning, and our middle school students are settling in, and our elementary have been here for a couple of months, about a month. So people are starting to settle in, students are starting to settle in, and we're excited that everybody's back. So on that note, I would like to pass it off to Sonia Bittner, who has some health and wellness for us. Thank you, Dr. Prine. Uh, one quick update on the daily um, health attestation that we ask that you put in Skyward every day when you're on campus, whether you're a staff or student, there's going to be one update question added to that that's new from the state that I think will help us determine exposure more and help families have a little bit more information. Uh, the good news is our numbers, our COVID numbers here in Clallam County are decreasing. We were so happy to see those Yay. changes. Yay. And uh, that may have been why we have a new directive from Clallam County saying that there are circumstances now when people don't have to self quarantine. So if someone has completed their vaccine series, that's both shots more than two weeks before they travel or, be, or are exposed to COVID. And if they have no symptoms, they are no longer uh, being asked to self quarantine. So that's really great news for our families and staff. However, Dr. Berry does think that the majority of our new cases are still coming from out of area. So the school district really wants parents to understand that if your child has been out of state, we are asking them to stay remote and study at home for two weeks before coming back to school. I don't know if it's uh, having a little more daylight, but I feel like it must be spring. And if it's not, <laughs> if it's not, I want it to be very soon. So uh, I would like it uh, if you knew where to find a little bit more health and fitness information. Our district's wellness program, which you can find on the district homepage, you go to families, scroll down to wellness program and double click that. And it opens up to give a little bit more information about uh, the YMCA's seventh grade initiative, which is free YMC membership, YMCA membership to seventh grade students. Uh, they are still doing the appointment only there, but all your student has to do is go in and ask for that at the YMCA. They're also talking about evening volleyball there soon. Uh, additionally, the North Olympic Discovery Marathon series is up and running. They have both virtual and on-site uh, marathons planned throughout this spring, right up until the actual marathon on June 5th and 6th. So there's a link there that you can click to give you a lot more information and staff should check the, their staff, um, staff rooms in each of the buildings because the folks that run the Olympic Discovery Marathon have given them uh, tickets to turn in for a discount on their entry fees. So that's it for me, Dr. Prine, thank you. Thank you so much, Sonia. And now we'll hand off to Darlene Appleland and she'll talk about food service and transportation and where we are with that. Thank you. All right. Well, both food service and transportation are um, doing very well. And as we're adding more students, uh, both programs are, are doing what they need to do to get our students to school and get our students fed. And, and we just know it will continue as high school starts this next week. So we're excited about that. Um, I also have something for our staff members, and this is 
something that is being offered by our food service uh, provider Sodexo and our food service director has offered that if staff buy nine meals then the 10th meal will be a free meal so as you're doing your pre-orders for meals keep that in mind that um, Sodexo just wants to do a, something special to say thank you for ordering meals from from food service so thank you thank you Darlene thank you Sonia and on that note we will wrap up and we will see all of you next week have a great week